Hey everyone, so um, a lot of people have been missing out on my extension videos. I haven't done them in a while just because I told you guys I was lazy and I didn't feel like putting them in. I decided to go ahead and do a video for you guys today on a Victoria's Secret hairstyle. Um, this is like their kind of runway look, I think. Um, it's very like vol voluminous, voluminous. So it looks, basically my style looks like this from the front. And this is from the side. This is from the back. This is from the back. So yeah, this is a really, really um, pretty, you know, sultry look. I really love it. I hope you guys like it too. If you guys want to stay tuned and see how to see how I did this look, please keep watching. Thanks. If you keep watching, really appreciate it. Keep watching. So obviously I started off by putting all my extensions in um, and parting my hair pretty much down the middle. It's just kind of the way it fell today. So um, um, so what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using my Con Hair Instant Heat um, Curling Iron. It's a pretty wide one. I would say this is about probably about an inch and a half um, to do this look today. So what I'm going to do... Okay, so I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair. And um, so obviously what you're going to need is really long hair for this look because if you have shorter hair, it's not going to work. So this hair is probably, is pretty long. And it's layered too. So I would suggest you take it to a stylist and get it layered because it does look more natural that way. And that way all the curls aren't just going to sit at the bottom. So I'm just going to section my hair off. So I'm taking right now two of my extension wefts that I have at the back of my head and at the bottom their their hair is not um, you know as curly so I'm going to separate these two bottom these bottom sections into four pieces so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my curling iron and I'm just going to start from the bottom if you want to spray some heat protectant go ahead but then you just curl it up like this. Hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds and then let it go. So you have something that looks like this. And then I'm just going to take this section. So these two sections, um, basically I'm curling away from my face. So then you'll have kind of a really loose curl. So I'm curling these away from my face. So I have something that looks like that. And then I'm just going to take my next row down, which would probably be my, my one row in the back and then two rows on the sides here. So basically I'm going to be doing the same thing. So I'm just taking small sections like that. So if you wanted the style to stay in for like a long time, obviously I would put some, um, what's best is putting some either some gel in it before or putting some hairspray um, I prefer like the not the aerosol hairspray it makes it stay in way better if it's just like the liquid hairspray um, spray that on a strand before you do this and then spray, the, spray that on a strand before you do this and then curl it it'll keep the curl in way longer I'm just doing this because I don't want to put any hairspray in my hair so I really don't care about it falling um, I kinda like it when it falls a little bit so have something like that. I'm going to do the other side. Basically, basically you just want to take small pieces until um, the hair runs out, like the row runs out. So you just want to take small pieces and curl them like so. Okay, so basically you're going to have something that looks like this. Now, um, when I get up to the top, I want the, the curls to be a little bit smaller, um, more defined. So I'm going to take one row, so I'm only taking one row of the hair, but only one left. So I'm going to clip that up, and I'm going to do, so this row, the single row by itself. So my, all my other rows I had like two, two, almost three um, wefts, this one only has one. So we get more of a defined curl as we go up. So I'm just taking... Sorry about the train. 
just taking really s smaller pieces as I get up to the top. Okay, so as I get to the top, I'm going to be using um, a different curling iron. So I'm just going to separate my natural hair from the, the first or like the last extension piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the extension piece and I'm going to use a little bit smaller curling iron. So this is probably like an inch. And I'm going to curl it from the bottom. So I held that in for about 10 seconds. You really don't need to hold it in for that long when it's the smaller curling iron. The whole point is to get more defined curls as we go up. So this front piece you're going to want to blend. So you're just going to curl these pieces right in the front here with the smaller curling iron. Any of just the really front pieces. Any of the front pieces that are not um, curly, you're just going to curl these with the smaller curling iron. Okay, so you have something that looks like this. Okay. So now I'm going to take my hair down. So this is just the rest of my hair. And I'm going to take a section, just like where my bangs are, right here. And I'm going to take my big curling iron like this and instead of putting a roller in it to to get the effect that they have a volume I'm going to just curl it like this curl it under like that keep it close to the front there like that I'm going to do the same for the rest of the pieces so I'm basically taking like an inch section if your hair is not layered um, like mine is it's gonna look kind of funny to um, have your shorter layers curled like this and then your normal hair um, and then your extension hair really long so you're going to want to straighten these pieces in order for it to blend but I'm just going to take this curling iron and curl the ends of my natural hair to blend in with the extension hair so basically any of my natural hair because my hair is layered I'm going to want to do this to blend it in you don't you wouldn't necessarily have to but I just think it gives it a more volume, volumized look. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put, um, tilt my hair upside down and just kind of shake it out. So if you want, you can um, you can backcomb it and tease it or whatever um, to make it a little bit bigger, especially at the root, because I didn't blow dry my hair today, so my roots are gonna be a little bit. Um, more laid back but yeah basically this is what it looks like but yeah this is a really pretty look I think it's very Victoria's Secret ish um, you could always pull your hair up like this and spray it at the root just to give it a little bit more um, volume in the front there I hope you guys enjoyed this look um, hopefully more hair tutorials coming up I have a couple in mind that I, I want to do that are going to be really fun. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for subscribing. Please remember to comment and thumbs up. Um, that's really important. So, yeah, if you guys like my videos, please remember to do that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.